You doing all right? You're about to be, cause Bedhead is here. Eric the Wrench, we live free or DIY. Now real quick, it's the future. You're about to see the past and this shop is very different. I now have a very nice compressor and things are different, but I'm gonna show you the old one and even before with this soda blaster. But right quick before I jump in, you need to understand something. My Metro is being soda blasted. It has cast aluminum and magnesium parts, especially the magnesium. It is like a lesser charge and it will pull the electrons out of the other metals around it instead of itself rusting. Just like we use zinc primers as sacrificial Magnesium will use any other metal it's attached to as a sacrifice so it itself doesn't rot and rots the other metals. So soda blast necessary for that. And other reasons, because it does it to steel too. And I'm gonna show you, even on some cheesy rust repair that you shouldn't do. Eric Durench here, just staying safe with this puh, 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 sandblasting. It's the only reason we'd ever wear a mask. First off, you don't want to breathe this. It's meant to cut you up. You don't want it to cut you up. It's like a wet, uh, dustless sandblast going on in your lungs. And you don't want it in your eyes. Okay, we've got the fun safety stuff out the way. We want to sandblast. Well, I tell you what. This sandblaster here, you could buy these. They're inexpensive. You could even get them for like hundred bucks. But this compressor here, not enough. You need about a thousand dollar compressor to keep up with that. Unless you want to use it for 30 seconds and wait 10 minutes. That's how much air it uses. So we got is this now. Hey, Eric the Wrench here. Today, we're gonna have a blast learning about media blasting, special soda blasting. Now, before I explain why we soda blast and nothing else for the most part here, all right, why you don't even wanna play with this toy, let's unbox our little toy. Maybe it doesn't work, it's new to me. 25 bucks from China Freight. Oh, well, okay. I tried it already. This is take two because she was coming up on me and I had to go put the water remover on. But what we got here, and as you can see, I've already ruined my new hat and my new boots, which was the last pair I could find made in the USA. The company's out of business because everybody went to China Freight. So, you know what? Shame on you if you have an alternative, but nobody else makes it. Anyway, let's not ruin my hand anymore because I just got glass everywhere. Okay, now, so I lost the actual footage of me soda blasting the Metro. I actually stripped it by hand and then went over it with the soda blaster because I went through $400 worth and I'm not even done the underside yet. So 400 bucks to do the entire inside and outside after I stripped it by hand. Moving forward, I'm gonna show you even better and a bonus trick, the vinegar trick, okay? I got some good footage here, check it out. work with more filler than any 
even garage restoration guy would ever use. Um, you would never, this is more filler than yours. This is over an eighth inch of filler. This is from a professional insurance work body shop. It looks like, I, you know, I, I honestly don't even know if they replaced this side. It, it seems like they just slap seam sealer, a, a lot of seam sealer and bondo over everything in here. I, uh, see, this is what happens. You know, you trap, you trap rust under paint and this is what happens. It, uh, it creates a uh, environment for it. it. It doesn't get out. It gets, it osmosis is in there or whatever and it stays in there and it doesn't come out. So bonus, as you can see, see how I just soaked this? This is soaking in vinegar. And you can see that even in there, watch, that's gonna turn black. See how it's turning black and gold now? That's not rust, that's neutralized. See? See the color, see how it's changing? Eating the rust away out of the pores and leaving the metal neutral. This is doing the same thing as your rust representative primers and all that garbage. This is doing the same thing. The only thing it's not doing is impregnating it with zinc. But most people use a zinc based primer or a red oxide primer both etches the metal. See? Already. Look at it all turning black. I might need another coat, but this is getting cut off. I'm just showing, for example. <laughs> Look how bad that is, but we're just trying to stop this. For, there's no way you're getting this without cutting this out. There's nothing you could do about this, but believe it or not, it'll buy you a year or two. See it now, it's all turned black and that zincish gold color. Isn't it funny how they say that that $60 a gallon rust mort is um, how it's the only thing in the world that's gonna turn it there and they say it turns that color because it's impregnated with the zinc. Nope, it's from the acid neutralizing it. What that's done is turn the surface rust into a primable surface. Sure, I usually brush over the top, sand it, and only leave it in the pits. Oh, the only other thing I forgot to include is the benefit of the Soda Blast, even though it doesn't get rust as well as you need to mix some regular oxide grit and aluminum oxide in it if you want to get rust. But on its own, it explodes on impact. It's no longer abrasive, it's now a cleaner as well. How I show you about neutralizing the metal. It also doesn't remove the factory e-coat. It doesn't remove the zinc from the original zinc primer. Okay, you could see how it's cleaning up the aluminum and magnesium. You could see how it's not pitting it up. This already was like that and scratched, you could see. But you could see, and, and it's getting pitted underneath there, because remember, like I said, nothing else will stick. Well, when this vehicle was repainted, it wasn't, that wasn't done. So, here. so I'm gonna strip this by hand, and then I'm gonna go over this with the Soda Blast, because I need the Soda Blast alkalid to get in here, because magnesium will just destroy itself if it's not chromate treated afterwards or instantly blasted with the bacon alkaline. Um, it's still gonna have to be prepped and everything. This pip's adjustable. When you loosen the nut and turn the sleeve in, it's a control valve for how much it's siphoning off. So, try backing it out a little. Maybe I got too much pressure, but.
That unclogs it. And that's it guys, it's up. Uh, this was halfway full, now it's just a little on the bottom where I can't reach it. Um, I gotta tell you, I, just to do this rim here, just not, not even all the way around, just this. This from here to here, just doing that, that was the whole container. It would take a whole bag just to clean this thing off. It's gonna take you a whole bag. So, think about that, guys. Unless you're using the cold slag and you're in a place that's tarped off where it's safe to go and you got full ventilation and breather mat air systems, this is really not a do-it-yourself thing, guys. Other than this little toy for cleaning off small parts, I have to have it for the magnesium. Really, this is only good for getting where you can't reach. Everything, what you can't really, get what you can with hand, and then use this. Or, I'm gonna need this to go over because I have magnesium parts in that truck. You can't get the Chromate treatments anymore. You can't, get, you can't even get the real Chromate primer anymore. And But you have to <laughs> Glass is bad news. You know that glass gets everywhere. Um, this is a great little toy for cleaning the parts. Um, I'm gonna use it for the places I can't get my hands underneath the truck. Um, I'll probably use the big blaster for that. Um, I don't know what to say. You're talking to. For me to strip that truck, I mean, for you to do the underside of a truck because you're talking rust and scale, I mean, is it just to strip underneath your car, you're going to pay $500 to $1,000. Maybe more. Stuff's on everything. I've only blown through a few little cans. Luckily, it's sold and washed away with water, but it's all over the camera. It's all over me. It's all everywhere. So once again, it's not that it doesn't have a use. It's a tool that you, for 25 bucks, you can't afford to not have one, okay? You'll use it on small parts. But the idea of you doing your whole vehicle by yourself, if you believe that, guys, if you believe those, you know, eat wood training videos and stuff, all right, I'm not knocking their products, but I'm knocking all salesmen. <laughs> hey. If you believe that, would you believe that you could take a China Freight bender and uh, uh, tape a piece of uh, shin to it and now you have a $800 tube bender? <laughs> yes, there's a video on building this whole shop in here and everything. You can see I just built a little room in the corner because we got ventilation going out that's filtered and air coming in from the heated house for the shop. Ventilation, all that stuff out here. Too much going on like and subscribe party people keep it fresh and stay tuned for now that's all there is to it i live free or diy because if you don't know how to do it yourself you're dependent live free or diy America Red. Like and subscribe.